It's Sunday night, and this is The Conjugal Visit on KGFRocks.com. Conjugal visits. Shit. Yeah, that's the <laughs> shit. I love that song, man. I love our song. I love our theme song. It's a great song. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I just got uh, before you do your intros, uh, the uh, update here on the game of the week. Guido's Hitman, one hundred eight, and Freedom Riders, thirty eight. I know. I suck. Yeah, <laughs> I'm having a really How bad week. How am I doing? Week. I haven't even checked today. I've been like I got. Together. I didn't realize the buy was so early, and I had like three players out on buy, and yeah. I could only recover one. And Mary, Mary and, Jane's and, winning. Mary Ooh, Jane, I'm winning. Yeah. One twenty-four to fifty-nine. Woo! Go Mary Jane. Go Stoners. Mary, yeah, Mary Jane Stoners. Uh, kicking the hell out of uh, what was it, Chaz's team? And Chaz's, you're kick- yeah. And you're kicking the hell out of me this week. This is this is the week for blowouts. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is the Be- week. Speaking of blowing, um, everyone, go ahead, do the intros. Oh, okay. Well, welcome to the conjugal visit, and uh, I'm Free Ride along with my good friend there, Guido, out in Buffalo, New York, and then we have MJ420 out there in California. MJ, hi guys. Hi, how are you? I'm good, nice and good. stoned. Yeah, yeah. Well, Doing this it, Sunday evening. Isn't it wonderful? I just love it. And, and the weather has changed. Uh, we, I mean, it went right into fall here in St. Louis, and uh, it's going to warm up a bit this week. But we were in the 50s and upper 40s uh, yeah, around St. Louis uh, a couple of days ago. So it got We've cold. We've been in the 60s fast. all week. Have you really? Yeah. yeah, things are changing already, man. The leaves are turning already. God, it sucks. You know man. what I noticed? I love fall. Uh, yeah. you know, do you know what I noticed today? I went what? outside and all the leaves are brown and and the sky was gray. Yeah. Oh. Well, all the can... leaves are brown. Uh, <laughs> are you thinking of California? Are you thinking of yeah. California? Were you? Did you stop California. into a church? Oh, I did. Did you, did you stop into a church? Yeah, I passed yeah. it along the way. Yeah, you passed it along the way. Yeah, and then you know what I did? I got down on my knees. Yeah. And you and began to pray. Yeah. Yeah, did. you did. Yeah. You got began to pray. I began to pray. I like that song. Have you ever heard that song by the Beach Boys? Yeah. They did a version, didn't they? It's didn't the they? better they're version. My, they're my favorite yeah. version, actually. Yeah, mine too. I think it's better than the Mamas and Papas version. And really, and I, it's it didn't beat in the beat 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 not the Beatles. Jesus, I sound like Free Ride now. The oh. and the Beach Boys did it in I think the nineties. In the nineties, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. Maybe we have it. We can play it for the folks. Oh uh, yeah, you should. Can. It's a good yeah. song. It is a good song. Maybe we'll play that later in the show. Yeah. So. So was, how the, are the fires gone away out there? I'm curious. Yeah, well, they've got it. Last time I checked, which was uh, yesterday, it was 56% contained. Oh, okay. So if they're halfway there. They're hoping that by next Tuesday it'll be fully contained. I really hope so. Because we haven't had a fire in the Santa Cruz Mountains in, like, man, in decades. So right. this was out of nowhere. Right. And I'm tired because, like, the air in my area is, like, really, it's screwed. Like, my eyes are itchy, throat hurts. Right. So hopefully they get it under control. So, so I, I'm sorry, Guido. I didn't mean to interrupt you, dude. Go, go ahead with what you were doing, boss. Oh, I don't remember. I was talking to my daughter about bad things. Oh, so, you know, oh you're talking to your daughter about bad things? Yeah. What bad things? Is she being a bad girl? No, we were uh, talking about that stupid-ass debate. Oh, the stupid ass debate. Well, yeah, yeah that yeah. was kind of yeah. You know. It was kind of comical. Well, yeah, no. I really thought it was. I thought it was just um, two people fighting and talking crap about each other. But, yeah, but you know, and, but you know what? and it, it, he sounded like an idiot. They both did. 
But you know I don't, what? To be I, honest, I, I don't think he was bad. And, and I'll tell you what. Yes, he was because he no. kept bringing the same shit up. Because the, and he needs to come up the with mediator, something else. The mediator wouldn't do his job. All he did was ask bad things about, about oh, no. Trump. But he never did about Clinton. Not yeah. one time. Well, let me say this. Let me say this. In that debate, neither one won. No, they did. They both. No, they like both idiots. were assholes. They were. They both. I agree with you. They both lost. Right, but but the media. I think, and I'm not trying to get political. I, I, I'm not saying who was better, who wasn't. I don't give a shit. What right. I'm saying is the mediator sucked. And oh yeah, he did. A he did. Bipartisan person. Can you? They find somebody. No, there who, isn't anyone. Right. So there. I mean, that's the problem. Is you're going to get. All these people. Now, the next one will be somebody that's a Trump supporter, and they'll be asking her all the tough questions. You got to find somebody that's in the middle, right? To ask the questions, you know. In my opinion, but yeah, you know. well, no, I agree. And you're not going to find anybody impartial. Mm-hmm. I mean, everybody leans left or right. I mean, we're we're in one of the most uh, turbulent times. Not a, no, not one of our most turbulent times. I'm going to tell you right now. It's all exaggerated, man. It's all made up. It's all made up. It's all about that fucking greenback. And that's all it's about. It's about it's those that damn fucking lizard greenback. people. No, man, it's about the greenbacks and and it's not about the wetbacks or the the blackbacks or the black lives matter. It's not about that. That's an all diversion. That's a diversion created by these fucking mealy heads. Well, they're using they're using the race vote. They want to get those certain races to vote for them. And- well, that's because, it, and, and it's great, because in, in proven uh, political facts, the minority vote has always been low until, yeah. until the last two elections. So now these two have to find, have to grab that minority vote, because the minority vote is very important. Well, yeah, I don't important. know. It's very scary, though, either or. I don't know. I don't like any of them, to be honest. I'm scared of both of them, and I'm just... I just pray for this world. <laughs> I'm going to vote. I'm going to write in Chief Wanna Doobie. I'm going to. Let's just, let's just write him in. Well, write in Chief Wanna Doobie. Everybody out there listening tonight, just pencil it in. Chief <laughs> Wanna Doobie. I'd rather president. vote for myself. Yeah, now that's all wasted votes. If you're not going <laughs> to vote for real, don't vote. I, I plan uh, on I mean, voting, but I just feel like I'm going to vote for my. Well, because marijuana is going up on my bill. Right. And we're at, California is actually voting to legalize it recreationally. So yeah, it's that's almost over. that, and that is really important to me. So I'm going to show up to vote for that. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to vote for either or. Right. Who's the Who's the runner up? Isn't there like a third person? You yeah, can vote Gary for? Johnson. He's from marijuana. Um, and that's what I heard. Someone told me he was from marijuana. I want to yeah. do more research on him. But yeah, he's an idiot. Him. Gary Johnson's a moron. Yeah, so, yeah, he's a moron. He's he's pretty dumb. Um, but uh, you know, when it comes to being president of the United States, libertarians always pick someone that can no way. It, it, there's just no way to be elected. But you, know, you almost yeah. got to be stupid to even be the third person because you're not going to get any votes against the. Is it, well, can I ask you this? Do you think it's okay to go vote for everything that you want and need to vote for? But if you don't want to vote for president, to leave it blank. Yeah, that's okay. Yep, none of the because above. that because that's what I want to do. I don't feel like I should vote for anybody if I don't know them or I'm not. Well, you know I, what I mean? I, like if I don't agree with that's them. That's fine. Or, that's fine, and I'm glad you're going to do that because, to be honest with you, that's a vote for Donald Trump. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter if it's a vote for Donald Trump so, or not. So, so thank you very much. <laughs> well, whatever. Why would you want Trump in office anyway? Like, I would much rather have Trump in office than really? the, the soap yeah. opera of Hillary Clinton. Just, yeah, it, it's I, like there's just too it's much like there on. Come on, look at it. Look here's at the difference. it. Here's the difference. It's like picking the nastiest person in the room with Trump or the what? devil. Or the devil. Yeah. They're both devil, though. No, 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 no. no. Hillary yeah, you is. Say this now, but if I want to have this. You know, like no, you this is not a I wanna have, No, I want to have this freaking conversation in a year, in two years. Okay, and we see, will. And see if you're still happy if he makes it into presence, and see if he does a good job. Because I have a feeling he's going to fuck us. Oh, he'll be dead anyways, and Mike Pence will be the president. So that's yeah, no, that, that's that, the that one we got to. <laughs> that's the one we got to pay attention to. That's the one we need to pay attention. to. Uh, you that know was what? My, I wish I wish thing. we could just overthrow the government 
and oh, give it to oh, the people, shh, and then we can run the fucking country. Shh, what? Shh, that would be a better option than letting Please, some Mr. stupid NSA. ass run it. No. You're killing me. You're killing me. Anarchy. 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 No, but this ain't like, but this ain't like the fifties or the sixties where you could do that. There's too many lazy people in this world now. No, oh, let's do, let's fight back. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm gonna play this video game and eat this sandwich. Yeah, they're, they're too busy eating food right. and, and uh, watching video games and. And uh, watching sports to to pay attention to what's what's really important, and, and and I think we've gone a long way. Okay, we've gone a long way, but things have been nipped in the bud. Uh, we were lied to. We were, we're lied always, to by we, uh, talk, we are always lied to by but all of them. But we so were lied to since day one. So we yeah, we were born to. being lied to. Right. Okay. When, well, when does it stop then? When does it stop? When somebody gets up to Trump tell the truth. Now, now listen, listen. Think about this for just a second. Now, I just posted this on my Facebook wall. Okay? I just posted this on the, my Facebook wall. Being You 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 commend me for my honesty, right? But Not I'm a- an asshole when I tell you the truth. So Donald Trump's just being the asshole that's telling everybody, look, this is not fair. We've got okay, over but the thing that he wants to do is retarded. Like the whole wall thing, that is dumb. We've got People over can 65 climb million. Walls. We've got over 65 million Americans today that make less money than they deserve for their education level. We've got another 40% in poverty that wasn't there 2 years ago. Right. So don't tell them, the recession is real. Okay. Oh, it is. We, we have no jobs. There's no jobs. It People is worse that, today. That, that then, went to college okay. have about, like a good bachelor's degree or a master's, okay. can't even get a job in the in the field that they studied. It's, Thank it's you. It's crap. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Now, now let me follow that up with this. Have you, have you, do you have an opportunity to ever go to like inner city areas? Well, me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's where I, so that's where I, I get my okay. stuff from. When you go into inner city areas... They haven't changed in eight years. You would think by now that he would give them a piece of fucking scrap. To give them something. Give them who a little would, bit who, of education. Who are we talking about? The We're government? talking about the President of the United States. All Where was his promise? No, no, no. No, the, no, but none of them have done that. None of no. them have. No, we, none have of a, them. we have a no. guy right now that is running for president that is. And you think that he's that. gonna do that? He is gonna take care of our inner city. No, he's not gonna take us. care of it. No, that's the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, because to look he's at gonna it. buy all the land and then and then lease it back. What? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all sounds retarded. No, no. You follow me on this. Follow me on this. When you think how, did, about how did you get into this discussion when all I said was the mediator sucked and you guys turned a political, not me this time? Okay, I'm not. Well, okay, you know this is a political me. talk, and we apologize to our listeners if you don't agree with our views or whatever. But you know what? Everybody has their own opinion and isn't tall, and it's good to have a healthy conversation about it. But you won't have your own opinion oh. after. There goes our <laughs> but anyways. Yes, uh, moving right along. Moving right along, I, I, and the, the football thing is really great. We're kicking ass. Okay. I am I am two and zero, oh, but I will soon be two. And, I will be two and one, yes, and you will. and you're going to end up being two and one also, aren't you? I will be, but I'll be in first place because I beat you. Ah, what place am I going to be in? Probably in third. second place. I'm nice. okay with second. Yeah. Are you? Football sucked for me today, though. My Niners lost, and the Raiders won again. Like, hell is frozen over. Oh, that's what we can talk about. Kepernick, whatever the fuck his name is. I don't want to talk about him. I hate that guy. They dropped him like a bad habit. They dropped him like a bad habit. They got rid of that fucker. They didn't get rid of him. He was yeah. No, No, he got this. Today was his last day. Really? Yeah, he was dropped. Oh, you just made me happy. Yeah, they just dropped him. He's gonna start a you know a new team. Where's he going? I don't know. Um, He's gonna go to Minnesota, I think. Minnesota? No, they're not gonna take him. That's a nobody's gonna take him. He sucks. Yeah, he's bad news. He, oh, he, they finally got rid of him, huh? Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, good. He, he's not good at all. He's not. He's Come not. He's not a good. No, he's a crappy yeah. player. And he's not a team player. He's not a team player. His his sitting down. See now, this is. I, I, tell me, I'm wrong. 
His sitting out the national anthem means he's not a team player at all. And his teammates knew that going into this. They, that's why they didn't play well for him. He's not a team player. If he's not no. a team player when it comes to his country, he's definitely not a team player when it comes to the fucking 49ers. Yeah, he no, didn't he's give a fuck he's about he's nobody but his paycheck. He knew he was going to get all kind of endorsement deals if he made a fuss. And that's exactly what it was about. And that's what I talked about at the very beginning of this conversation. It's all about the fucking ducats, man. It's all about the greenbacks. Ain't got nothing to do with color race. You got George Soros and these other guys and this guy and this guy and all these guys sitting there just shoveling out the money to these fucking degenerate motherfuckers out there. (laughs) And they are in control of us and they're saying, okay, I need a diversion here. We need a diversion over here. We need something to happen over here. Okay, go shoot that cop over there. You do this. And this guy's dealing out all this fucking money and that's what it's all about. It's about the fucking greenbacks because he wants total control. They want total control. Tune into the Conspiracy Hour with Free Ride. <laughs> it's, it's the Knights Templar. Well, I'm happy he's gone. He was a shitty player. That's what it basically and is. Good riddance, Mr. Keeper Nick. Yeah, I think it's great though because uh, he, I think it all blew up in his face. The whole he was gonna all of a sudden after he got benched, he started all this protest crap. He didn't protest before he got benched. No, you know, and. Uh, now that he's gone, doesn't have a job, that serves him well. Yep. It does. It serves him very well. He should join the Army. I think if he really cared about African Americans and his community, that he would take some of those millions of dollars that he got for sitting on the bench and would donate to, like, you know, his local community to help yeah. kids to have the street. Like, if you want to protest, you want to make a difference, then start there. Start donating some of your money to help kids that are what? on the street, you know? You know how but, hard it is for the YMCA? How hard it is for the YWCA, for the, for, the, for the young kids in the neighborhoods? They're all shutting down. They look like shelters. They are, and they, they need, to be, like oh, they need to be And, and they, they need, need to be, be fixed. Open. And they need balls, and they need nets, and they need yeah. everything they need, like, make and they need uniforms. There. They need uniforms. Make it like it used to be. I mean, when I was in the y- YMCA, when I was a kid, it was something to be a part of. It was Did something you do the was... dance every morning? No, I didn't do the YMCA dance. It was different, <laughs> man. It was it was completely different. And, and, and then everybody started associating it with the homeless. The YMCA is extremely important to young people. Now I want everybody out there to listen. If you can donate some fucking money to the YMCA, that's the best investment you'll ever make in America. Because it keeps the kids off the fucking street. It does, and, and it gives it, them something to do. It gives them something to do during the day, and it keeps them off the street at night and makes them tired. See, if you wear kids out, they will sleep at night. They won't be out on the street doing drugs and chasing guns and shit like that. They'd be in bed sleeping because that game wore them out today. And that's what it's all about. And if you I wear agree. out the kid, and they're not so bratty when they're worn out. You notice that? Yeah, you ever notice that? Parents, think about that. If your kid is ever really hyper in the evening before it's time for bed, take him out and shoot some baskets with him. Take him for a walk. Wear his happy ass out, and I guarantee you that kid will go to sleep. Is that all it takes? That's all it takes. (laughs) Wear their asses out. Unless there are, but I, you know, there's right. other ways to protest or to make a difference. And, like, if you really have a problem with the police department, then go to the police department. And tell them how I go there and protest. Well, you heard that cop in Dallas, the chief of police there, says, hey, look, you all want to, you want a fair shake in this community? Come on down and apply for a job. We're hiring. Right. That's it. Become a cop. Become a cop. Wanna, if you want to make a difference, become a cop. That exactly. Would be a that's, a, that's the kind of spirit that we need in the United States. That's you know the wa- kind of spirit we need. You know what I want to say? What? I just ate the best damn banana I ever ate in my life. You ate a banana while we were talking. Oh, you guys are just babbling on. I had a banana, so <laughs> it was pretty good. Did you did you deep throat it? Did you take the kielbasa for us? Oh fuck okay. yeah! Did you? You oh, swallowed it whole. I tickled oh, the tonsils. You, you know? tickled the tonsils. And put that banana right back in there. <laughs> there's a uh, you know there's a no that's not how you do it. There's a way to open a banana the right way and the wrong way. Everybody opens it from the the long stalk end. No, you. Pinch the opposite end and pull it apart in one piece. Is that how you eat your bananas? Yeah, that's how. That's how. If you watch a monkey, that's how they do it. They don't open it from the long stem; they open it from the little piece at the bottom. Really? Yeah. 
Well, I'm watching my Chiefs get their asses handed to them. I'm not gonna. I I, I will concede this game to you. For but sure. how about that? How about that, Sandy or not San Diego? I'm sorry, the Los Angeles Rams. Yeah, fuck the Rams. They beat the Cardinals in in Arizona. In Arizona, but Arizona, who was supposed to be this great team this year, just got beat bad last week by Buffalo. Yeah, and they got, got beat, beat twice now. St. Louis. St. Louis. So, and, and then Buffalo goes to New England and beats New England. That's a that's a, that that's not even a shocker to me. New England's yeah. been lucky the last three weeks. I mean, yeah, they really they have, have been lucky. The, but you know what it is? Is it's they played teams and stuff that uh, it was a shock and this and that, and they weren't conference teams. But like like the Bills and the Dolphins and that, they're play the Patriots all the time, so they know how they play. You I know. think I think uh, I I honestly think that um, um, uh, MJ should be a, an Oakland Raiders fan. I'm thinking about it to be honest with what you. What a game they had today! Oh God. yeah, I'm thinking they you had ought an amazing to. Game. They did, they did. Their v- defense kicked ass. So, it's got it's got to suck for 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 uh, Carr, the first Carr. Yeah, Eric, that uh, his little brother. He's a drafted overall, first overall by the by the uh, Houston Texans, and yes. sucked. And his little brother is kicking ass. He's kicking some ass. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah. That's pretty neat. He, well, he's on a good – he's got a good football team, so. Well, it's about time. The Raiders have sucked for a long time. Yeah, they have. They have since they went back – before they went back to Oakland. Mm-hmm. They sucked in L.A. for a long time. Yeah, they have. And, they and, have. They, they couldn't beat uh, – they couldn't fucking beat San Diego with, you know <laughs> – and they needed a Sherman tank to beat San Diego. Right. So they sucked. But uh, anyway, MJ, what are you doing, yeah. sweetie? You getting ready to go to dinner? I am. I got dinner plans with my dad, so I'm going to go have some dinner. Oh, okay, with your dad. Well, tell the old man we said hi at KGFRocks.com. I will. And we we hope that you enjoy. We don't want to keep you too long. I know you got things going on. Well, so, thank you we for having me. I had a good time, and I was like having a good debate with you guys. That's okay. We'll do it again sometime soon. If I if I don't get a guest, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a plan. Okay, sweetheart. You have a good evening. You guys too. Have a great one, and thanks again, and thanks to the listeners for tuning in. Mwah. Bye, you guys. Later. <laughs> Jolly good. Jolly good show. Yeah. I didn't want to keep her hanging because we were, you know, we were talking over her and stuff. So right. I thought we'd we'd just go to me and you. Now it's going to get quiet. What, is it going to get quiet? Why? I don't know. What do you got? What do you got going on there, Mister Banana in your mouth? You're still really? smacking your lips from that fucking banana. Good stuff, man. Yeah, good stuff. Love them bananas. Gotta Sometime. have a banana. Well, how comes we don't have a guest this week? That's a good one. Uh, mainly because um, I. Um, didn't find one. <laughs> <Good reason. laughs> I thought I had one, but then it kind of fell through, and, and then I wasn't able to recoup from it. That was on Wednesday, and I couldn't recoup on it Thursday, and I couldn't recoup on it on Friday, and by but the next thing I know, I'm working 10-hour, 11-hour days, and I just didn't have time to bring in a guest. All right, I'll let you go this time. You let me slide? Okay. All right. Well, we, we should have someone next week. I'm hoping to bring someone in next week. We'll have some fun with that so i'll figure something out gotta have i need to get a female guest i need a female guest well every time you book one they cancel i know i don't know what it is they're scared maybe it's the name of the show well no that you'd think that would make somebody want to right i mean i would i'd totally hate but yeah yeah that's what i'm thinking i mean i want something you know, maybe I—I I don't know. We, maybe, I wish we could find a phone number to a call girl or something. Oh, or I maybe, couldn't. Hear. Maybe a stripper. You know, I need to talk to a stripper. You know, I mean, I, you know. Look in the phone book and call. Oh, phone book or look up online. Look up online. I think there's a, a stripper service on on Facebook. Yeah, but you're not going to get the stripper if you call one of them places. You're going to get the freaking uh, person that takes the calls. The man, the manager, right. So you're gonna get like you know Bruno. Hey, what can I do? Yeah, yeah. 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. So that wouldn't be a good thing. But I mean, there is places that we can. What do you want to do? Like prank somebody on the air? That's 
I, I think that's illegal. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not illegal. You sure? No, it's not illegal. You take my credit card? Good. Mm-hmm. I'll give it to you when I get there. Right, right. That kind of thing. You know, we could uh-huh. be the jerky boys. Oh, look at this boy run. Look at this boy. He's gone. Touchdown. Here we go. Ran him back a punt. There's a flag you're, on the play. You're just watching football. You don't even care about the show. Oh, I love this show. Love <laughs> How can you say such a thing? I love this show. Uh, they're they're going to they're gonna call it back. It's a holding penalty. So, anyway, there was a touchdown. We got so, uh, rated third in the overall blues category on uh, uh, stream licensing. On stream licensing. Yeah, that's, that's a very very honorable uh, thing to have and it also will uh, potentially bring us many more listeners and bring people into the fold here at kgfrocks.com uh, I, I did want to mention uh, ladies and gentlemen if you're listening to the show tonight uh, and we, we appreciate that more than you'll ever know okay I promise more than you'll ever know we appreciate you listening to our show uh, but I, I, th- I think we need to uh, we've been down man yes we have September's been a very rough month, and uh, we uh, first of all we lost our server, who quit on us, just poof gone. Uh, then we uh, we we picked a, another one that was very suspect, and then the next thing we know, we're back offline again, and we can't get on the phone, we can't get on the apps or nothing like that. But we're back on them now. Yeah, and, and we should. We're at, on a reputable company server now. We're not. Right. Uh, we're not on a, some scammer. Right. So um, we should never have uh, issues again because the place that we're going through is, you know, United States server. So it's close to us. So we don't have to worry about the stream or the distance. You know, the distance. Right. And uh, it's a dedicated server, meaning that uh, we're the only ones that use that portion of the server. We're other ones you share sometimes. So the. Right. Um, the, the glitching will stop sometimes it you know it stops or whatever yeah. so it it's more but the problem was that uh, everything costs money we try to do it the inexpensive way and it didn't work out so we went the paid route which means you know the cost to us is greater which is is uh, okay with us but right. if you'd like to help us out you know that would be cool that too. would be nice too i mean just go to our website and you know where it is. I don't have to go through all the www shit. You know no. where it is. KGFrocks.com. Go over there. Check us out. And, you go to uh, tune in also. Tune in radio and uh, tune in radio and listen to us there. Our Nobex, mobile apps. Uh, our mobile yep. apps and Nobex and yep. and uh, also uh, my 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 listen to my radio. Uh, mm-hmm. We're back on there now, aren't we? Uh, I'm not sure. No, that's the server. No, no, we're not. That's the ones that kept. Dropping us, dropping us. Oh, dropping yeah. our stream. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, we're not with them. But we're. Uh, I have to delete that from my phone. Yeah, you'll have to because you got to go back to Nobex. That's the that's the the app that's on the website now is the best one. Yeah. No. And like I said, this server will never go down. And the problem with a lot of these things is like I can go right into all these things and put our stream information in, and boom, you go. But tune in doesn't do that tune in you have to send them an email with all the info and then when they they decide to get back to you they will and then when they decide to change it they will okay so it takes forever for tune in to do it but it's one of the best ways to listen to internet radio yeah that is it is and it sounds good the quality is good and i got compliments the other night while i was at work Mm -hmm. and it was rocking out on uh, on uh uh, it was actually it was Friday evening wow. with uh, with uh, Wild Bill Hill, and oh, cool. and, uh, and people were impressed and they said so. And they said, "What are you listening to?" I said, "That's my radio station, that's KGFRocks.com," and I had some bumper stickers. Cool. And I fucking handed a couple out. So we'll see what happens. We're trying, ladies and gentlemen. We're trying. I want to make this the the best internet radio station on the net, and uh, we're trying. And it makes. Mix it. Well, you know, we, we we're getting there. I mean, we got uh, we're fighting, some, man. We got <laughs> we're some great, up against the wall, man. <laughs> we are and financially, yes, we are up against the wall. But with talent, we're not. I mean, we got no. great DJs, but we and we have uh, Joe and Jody from one of the biggest Kiss podcasts uh, in the universe, Podcast right. Rock City, right. and they have a ton of followers. So hopefully, you know, now that the glitches are done, I mean, those right. 
the poor guy who started in the beginning of September. And right. It was March. Was when all the chaos started. That's you know? right. That's when it all got ugly. Yeah, and, and it wasn't by any fault of ours. I mean, how do no. you, how are you, as, do you as a company that people rely on just stop doing business and not even send an email? Didn't even give us any forewarning whatsoever. Right. Right. We had no idea this was coming. Right. They even sent us a bill the day they shut us off. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. That's the kind of unethical business practices that should be punished. I mean, they should be. If, Pick, give us money back, whatever, because they didn't. They, they, we didn't get the full month of the of the what we paid for, you know. Yeah. And uh, and I'm sad to say that they were owned by a, a company that we did a lot of business with, Web Web Radio um, Central, you yeah. know. And, and uh, I even did get nothing from Web Radio Central either, saying, you know, that they're down or whatever. Right, they were going out of business. Right, and, and it's just a shame because I, I'm sure. Well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I know for a fact that we're not the only ones that it affected. There was thousands of radio stations that went down. Oh yeah, there were there were uh, hundreds of thousands. I mean, right. we're talking we're talking thousands of stations just went off the air. Yep. So no, we were not alone in that. But I mean, it's you know, and it, it, it is what it is, and we're back on the air, and everything is going forward, and we're just going to kick some ass. That's all. That's it, and you know, and stuff like that happens, especially when uh, it's internet-based stuff, because you don't even know these companies are real or not that you're using. Like the one stream host we were using was just a paid advertisement thing. Every time you'd click on it, they want to sell you something. I know, I know, I know, and that was kind of ridiculous too. Yeah, and, and you know, and now it's uh, we're using a reputable company, and. Uh, you know, thankfully through stream licensing, we got that hookup because they uh, sent me the info because they were tired of me trying to fix it and not having any luck, you know. Right, right. So so I think the, the team there, actually, that's a great place. If you are an internet uh, broadcaster, folks, and you need licensing, go to stream licensing because they are a good are company. The best. And if you want to do it, if you want to do it, Go to kgfrocks.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, and hit the stream license and logo. That way, we'll get a credit too. So yeah, okay. yeah, they'll pat us yeah. on the back for that. And we're we're good people, and 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 we do we we are are trying really hard to get things back online and get things where they are. And if not for and I'm going to publicly say this out in the clear blue, if it were not for Guido and the hard work that that he did. Uh, through this whole thing, uh, because my technology, my technical prowess sucks. I know yep. nothing. I'm stupid. And he just took it on himself and said, I'm going to fix this. And he did. And it sounds great. It looks great. The page is awesome. It's easy to navigate. It's, it's you know, people are almost scared to sign into our site. Don't be afraid. It's a great site. It really is. It is. Yeah. And, and soon... Member advantages will be coming. I'm, I'm working on a, a program to allow anybody that becomes a member of KGF Rocks uh, site will get things that other people won't. Just regular listeners won't. So yeah. um, that's coming soon. You know, you, they already do now because you guys get when we do the um, the newsletter. Yeah, you get, you get it. The news, you and, get the newsletter. You know, and then there's going to be more stuff coming like that. Not, not we're not going to flood you with stuff because I hate spam. You know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, but you I don't look mean, at it anyway. You won't look yeah. at it anyway. <laughs> but why don't well, we? No, uh, I'm just saying. I can tell when people look at the our emails. Right. It tells us, and that's the thing is, there's a lot of people that don't. You're right. There's a lot of people that don't. But then there's people that every time I send out, I can't tell who they are, by the way, but I can tell how many people, you know. Right. And uh, so if, say, we send out our monthly newsletter to uh, 500 people, I, 17 people read it, that's still 17 people that took the time to read it, and uh, I'm going to keep doing it, you know. Right, exactly. It makes it worthwhile. Right. As long as, as, long as they are looking at it. Sure. There's a lot of things, you know. There's we're not the only station out there either. I mean, no. there's we're in a you know what like a terrestrial radio station. Okay, there's think of it this way: terrestrial radio in your own hometown, KC, whatever. Right. They have to compete with one or two stations in their market. We have to compete with 
hundreds of thousands of stations. Of stations. And, yeah. and we have to, we're in competition with the terrestrial radio stations. Right, right. right. <laughs> I know I am here. <laughs> it's tough, man. <laughs> No, it is, and you know we don't have the the it's money to break. <laughs> that they have, you know, where we can give away promos and stuff like that. But when we try to give them away, nobody goes for them, anyways. Yeah, I mean, we, we tried still, to give stuff away, didn't we? We still we have we still away have stuff. Damn, we still got stuff. I'm waiting to send. I'm waiting to send it, and nobody's come in to to uh, to take care of it. If you want to do that, you want to become a part of it, just go check out the list over on our webpage. It's real it's simple. Under the state. Save the music button down towards the middle of the page, and uh, Open you it can up. get a prize. Yeah, it's not. I mean, you're not just giving us money; you're getting something in return. That's why I never understood why th- that never went well. I'm giving away stuff, and I'm paying for postage. All right. <laughs> and you know, and that that's that's the truth. I mean, if twenty people donate it. 20 people packages you got to send that's quite a bit you know yeah and, and if 20 people donated five dollars how much money would that be i don't know 100 bucks or something <laughs> 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 i don't know you're gonna do math with me now yeah, yeah you know? it'd be 100 bucks well that's one yeah. month that's one month of licensing and playing fees for everything right. that we do at kgf rocks that's one month that's what it's costing so and so, if you all have a feeling you want to chip in, we appreciate it, and you're gonna get something back. Okay, so go look at the page, go check it out, and uh, uh, the first one to donate ten dollars, just ten dollars. That's all I'm asking for. Is gonna get is gonna get a three D CD set from what I have in my box. Wow, wow, three CD set, and I'll mail them out first thing tomorrow. So the first one to donate ten bucks is going to get three CDs. They're worth fifteen dollars a piece. Yep. They're and don't listen to him. He won't mail it out tomorrow. He's free ride. You'll get it though. Don't worry. You'll get it. <laughs> He's not going to mail it out tomorrow morning. Please. No, it won't be tomorrow morning. I'll still be in bed. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> but you'll get it. But you will get it. So, yes, trust yeah. me. Trust me. You will get it. And I've got him. I'm looking right at him, man. I got a whole box full of them. I, from Good. artists that sent us stuff. I mean, I got Desert Dragon. I got all kinds of. I got all kinds of CDs in here that just kick ass. So you know, check it out. Right, and these are stuff I maybe can't get anywhere else. So why not? You know, why not? Let's That's right. save the music. Save the music, please. Okay, just scroll down to the middle of the page where it says "Save the Music," and just click on it. Okay. Well, let, let, let's let's talk about this. Okay, you you obviously like being an inner and a DJ, right? Oh, and yeah. so do I. I love it. So, what in your youth got you? What DJ or radio show got you interested in it? Um. What? Well, it, it was uh, my uh, my radio idols here in St. Louis. I didn't okay. get in. I didn't get into rock until. 1972. Yeah, right not after, rock, just what, what, radio, I'm saying. Yeah, well, yeah, radio. And it was right after my dad passed away. Mm-hmm. And I started leaning towards music. And I had tried marijuana. And, and, and things were starting to move in that direction. Well, we moved to St. Louis. And um, uh, I, I, I found KC. And mm-hmm. KC was the beginning and um, the uh, Mark Close was over there, and um, uh, these guys were uh, just uh, phenomenal. Um, mm. And, and uh, they played the music, and I, you know, I always thrilled to go meet them. You know, they would do these remotes, and I'd go out and meet them. Right, I'd right. drive clear, I'd go clear across town just to meet these guys. And I always wanted to be into radio. Okay. I wanted to be that a part of that. But I was too busy getting stoned and being stupid to realize that you actually have to go to school to do that shit. Sure. Um, and that's basically when the transition was over. There was no more uh, Howard Stern, how he started going down to town to town to town. That shit was almost over that by then. And um, uh, these guys were just... Sure. Fantastic, and I'd go to the studio, and they'd sell tickets out the window of the studio. That, 
That's how cool this station was. Mm-hmm. And there was no other station like well, that's, it around. Yeah, it sounds like our station here, um, 97 Rock, same thing, you know. And yeah. uh, they were the ones that kept the music alive, the rock alive. But now it's not the same. And, you know, no. a lot of the DJs that I actually grew up listening to are still on the air or just retiring, you know. Right. And uh, it, it's kind of sad to see them go. But we had a lot of good radio programs here, but then it just started to suck once. Buffalo used to be all locally owned, okay? Right. And then now they're not, and it sucks now. When it well, was locally only, owned, it was better. The only time that they have DJs on now is until uh, nine, uh, 10 o'clock. That's it. Right. Unless it's Sunday. Well, now, Sunday is the seventh day, so they do the seventh day show. Um, but they've got like five DJs for the whole for the whole station. Five. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, it's down to nothing. They do auto DJ overnight. That's uh, they crazy. used to, they, yeah. They had this one great DJ on there, um, uh, and, and for the lo- longest time, um, and it was um, Mike Duran, and he used to do hair band Duran, right. and he would do all, nothing but hair bands. And well, he's gone now, huh. and now they're down to like four or five people doing their shows, and that's it. it they're like us. They're. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're pretty much like us now, and it, it's right, amazing. It's crazy. And I'm finding these other DJs, uh, Katie Cruz and JC Corcoran, and all these guys that were with KC for the longest time, are now doing these smaller stations around in the outer skirts of St. Louis. There's a couple. There's a classic rock station uh, south of us here, uh, way down in Cape Girardeau, down by Cape Girardeau, and uh, it broadcasts all the way up here by us. Uh, but it's a weak signal up here by us, and so I, I know that's where I got my start from. That's where I got my one. Yeah. I know, I know, your dad was already into that. Yeah, my dad was already. Uh, uh, my dad was the first or second mobile DJ in the city of Buffalo, like <laughs> doing you know bars and weddings and whatever. And uh, that's how I got into it. I never. Then I wanted to be a radio DJ because of people like Howard Stern. Howard Stern is actually one of you know uh, my influences because I just love the way he just says whatever he wants. You know? Right, exactly. And then, people, and then also people like I used to like, believe it or not, you'll laugh or whatever. But Rick Dees, Rick Dees really was a like phenomenal DJ. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And Casey Kasem and Casey Wolfman Kasem. Jack and all those guys. I loved yeah. them all. You know, yeah. Wolfman Jack to me it, it epitomizes the fifties. You know, and, yeah. Well, yeah, and when I was growing up, when I was younger than when in the 70s, it was more or less in the 60s, mid-60s, I wanted to be a sportscaster in the worst way. I wanted to I wanted to be the, the, the guy that called the games. I wanted to be the Kurt Gowdy, you know. I love Kurt Gowdy's voice. I mean, that guy there had the voice for baseball. I mean, just to, without a doubt. And then you had, um, then you, for football, uh, you... you uh, you, you had all these. Um, let's see, uh, John Madden. You had um, uh, Pat uh, Summerall. Pat Summerall. Oh, Pat Summerall was the ultimate. Was what the really? Ultimate. Yeah. Pat Summerall put me to fucking sleep. Pat Summerall was the greatest. One of the greatest. No, One of I the greatest. think the greatest sports announcer is Al Michaels. Yeah, Al Michaels does it well he did the you know he does football but he also did the miracle on ice game he called that game um for the 1980 u.s olympic team and uh he's pretty good and there, there's a lot of good ones but most of the ones are they're like ex-football players can turn out to be the best ones i think right you know and you're you're Messing with something right now. It's funny. Yeah, I can, <laughs> you, can always, you can always tell, right? You know, always. With, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's one of those things. I get in these days. I'm going, uh, you know, and you know, my jaw is hanging open, right? My knuckles oh, are yeah. dragging on the floor. Flies you know, are so, flies are gathering shit. at my mouth and stuff. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, just, I go ahead. No, you go ahead. I, I, those guys, those were the days when I, I said, you know, I can't play the games very well. And I was never really very good at sports. I played them. I played baseball. I played football. I played hockey. I, I wasn't good at them. Okay. And I can admit that out loud. I wasn't any good. But, but 
the sportscaster, but, the guy up in the booth calling the games. Ah, mm-hmm. man, that, that was exciting to me. That was something that I would have always wanted to do. But then again, really? yeah, that's something I really wanted to do. Wow. Well, that's why didn't you do it? You could do one here. I could do you one here? Call, you want to call the game that we're playing right now? No, I don't want to call the game that we're playing right now and get my ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, you call that one. You know? yeah, I, oh, you, you stepped up a little bit. You're at 41 now. I'm at 41. I'm not going to make it. Because no, my, you're not. No, my, my Chiefs are just sucking a cock. And now uh, 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 my, two of my players are now hurt. I yeah. think I'm going to have to. Uh, yeah, you're looking at uh, Kelsey is, is hurt. Mm-hmm. And um, he, he's about toast. I don't want to hear excuses. He's about toast. He's done. Excuses are not allowed in football. No, I need to make some trades. I need to get some players. Yeah, you do. And, you know, it's funny because this is, you know, our – there's only four people. It's the Conjugal Visits host. um, A league. Yeah, Yeah, a league. league. Yeah. And uh, it's funny the way it could go because, like, my wide receiver – who I thought was going to take me to the playoffs is out for the season now. And my running back, Adrian Peterson, who my first overall pick was, is out. Right, right. So, you know, matter of fact, I dropped him because I know he's not coming back until at least week 11. So you never know what could happen. Oh, man, I've got 41 points. Yeah, it sucks. That's pretty bad. Oh, man, I suck. You're going to get a medal for that, though, because for lowest game. So at least something comes out of it. Yeah, at least I get something about that. Yeah, right? the horse's ass trophy you get. The horse's ass trophy? Yeah, yeah. I love it. I yeah. love it, yeah. You, you don't even get the whole horse. You just how, get the how was I ass. ever 2-1? and one? I can't wait to really, to hear the reviews on this fucking game. Oh, I know. It's going to be They're going to call me stupid. And, <laughs> and, oh, oh. Uh, Fitzgerald, I know the reviews are great. Fitzgerald from Arizona disappointed the shit out of me. Uh, Edelman, 1.7 points. Right. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, the only one that did worth a damn was Anderson from right. uh, from Denver. He did really well. He got 11 points. And then we got Ben Verde, who got 12. He's my kicker. And my defense just let me down big time. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, Carolina yeah, gave up 48 points. Well, Carolina's not the team that they once were. I don't care what it is. I thought they had a better defense in this, but obviously I was wrong. Right. So I need to go find a better defense. That's all right. I'll have a whole new complexion next week. We'll right. see what happens. And Green Bay plays next week, and uh, Kansas City is in a bye next week. So, so anyway, oh, I see what you're saying. I get it. Hey, <laughs> listen, dude, why don't we play a song? All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's let, let's play this one. I'm not going to announce it. I'm going to just let it play. KGF Rocks, this is Free Ride and Guido. It's our variety show. We'll be right back. Um, you think we're going to get in trouble for playing that song? Why? I don't know. War- royalties. Royalties. Don't we? We pay our royalties, but I don't know if it works on this one. <laughs> Why? It's not like we have the Beach Boys it was a on nas- it, It's a nationally released song. We're well, fine. I don't give a shit. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. You know, what are they? You know, it, it, the whole point of it is it, actually if you post a video on YouTube and it's monetized they call it, or if it's uh, copyrighted and they monetize your video so meaning they put the ads on your video oh i see okay so they're making money off the video oh. that you posted oh I so see. but but then in some cases they block it because of uh copyright stuff like the beatles if you have a beatles clip in your song your yeah. your video is getting muted on on youtube oh i see so it, it's all different. And so when you get a copyright notice on uh, on YouTube, it doesn't mean it's a copyright violation. Uh, so uh, if the band decides to just let you use it, they monetize your video, and it's all done. It, it's plain and simple, and then they put a link in your video if you want to buy the song, then they get the money for it, which and that's the oh, way okay. it should be. The, the artist did play the song. The artist should get the money. 
you know. So, right. yeah, YouTube's got a whole different set of copyrights than um, we do on a regular radio program. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I could accept that. Good, because it's true. <laughs> as your explanation. It, yeah, you know, we should just do, since we there's not a lot, no guess, whatever, why don't we just do the first hour tonight? Okay, that's up to you. If that's what yeah, you'd like to you do. Know, yeah. I mean, unless you want to keep going, I can talk to you all night long. I, I have a lot of jokes to tell to you. You have a lot of jokes fun. to tell? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're dying. <laughs> we need guests. So we why don't guests. we just say, <laughs> say let, we did a good job. And yeah, we, at whatever. least we showed up. We were here for our show. We played a song. And, uh, uh, you know, we'll go We'll go until the top of the hour. We'll go right to the top, people. And, we'll and, go, and if you we'll, want to listen to uh, better shows, just log back in and look at our past shows and uh, there's some good ones there I, I know there's a great interview I always say it but it is a great interview a Rusty Burns interview it was, it was, was awesome one. it was one of the most fun you know. one, one of the best interviews uh, I ever had the pl- uh, privilege of doing uh, you can also catch our shows over on YouTube as well they're a little right. bit better illustrated okay and you can hear them there they sound really good on the right. YouTube uh, and, and, and we've had we've had national people on too. We've had Mike Lapon from Symphony X on, Tommy Gibbons from Tantric. We've had Matt yeah. forgot his last name from King Diamond, yeah. uh, Lucky Lur from from um, uh, I'm drawing a blank, but everybody knows who Lucky Lur is. And uh, you know people like that. And then as long as with unsigned bands too. So there's a variety for yeah. everybody. There's, there's a whole lot of music and a whole lot of interesting conversation and things that went on and some funny shit. And some not so funny shit, and uh, 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 the one that uh, the one that stands out to me is the Sectus interview, where we were mm-hmm. holding an interview while they were driving down the road. Yeah. If you can believe that shit, folks, they were driving down the fucking road, and we had an interview with them. Uh, that was a while back, but I have been in touch with Sectus, and they'd like cool. to do another show. So I'm going to see if we can bring Sectus in for another show. Uh, just all kinds of different bands and stuff, and and also in there is is my videotaped uh, interview with uh, uh, the lead singer from Red and uh, mm-hmm. uh, Eddie Chris, and that was all good and that was fun and uh, so just just different stuff. I I I won't ever do another video again. <laughs> Why is that? I look fat, man. I look really big. <laughs> well, you can't just look like it. No, I mean I no on camera when they say when they say the camera adds forty pounds, it added eighty to me. I look like a fucking I look like fucking Santa Claus for Christ's sake. I was huge. Oh, <laughs> no comment, damn it. Yeah, well that's okay. I appreciate it though. I, <laughs> yeah, but but you know, it was the way the camera was angled. Yeah, well that didn't help. I had a side I look like Alfred Hitchcock for Christ's sake. I really did. I mean, kind of did actually. Yeah, I looked like Alfred Hitchcock, and evening. I was pale as hell. I was super pale, so yeah. I don't know. Good evening. This is Todd Hitchcock. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, and he was, or was it more like, like uh, Raymond Burr in? Uh, oh, in um, uh, uh, what was the name of that show when he was in the wheelchair? Ironside was it? Ironside, no. yeah. Was Ironside. it Ironside? Yeah. yeah, it was Ironside. Yeah, it was a good show yeah. too. I always liked the TV show that I liked the most, man, when I was growing up. Actually, uh, who was that? Really, Columbo. Oh, I love that show. I, he was one of my Peter favorites. Falk. Yeah, Peter Falk. It was great. You know, he got yeah. off for killing his old lady, man. I, yeah, no, I think he did. He, that was Robert. That was Robert. Um, that was Beretta. Oh, that was Beretta. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Yeah. 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 Beretta's the one it got off of. Yeah. He was the original, um, one of the Rascals. Did you know that? Yeah, he was one of the original Rascals. Was he really? I didn't know that. Yes. One of the original Rascals? Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think so. Okay, good. No, boy, he wasn't that before. old, was he? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, Very yeah. Very interesting. I know it all. It's raining like a motherfucker over there in Pittsburgh, folks. 
It's raining. It was raining like a motherfucker in Buffalo, New York, too. Yeah. It's raining yeah, well. like a bear. Just run the ball, stupid. When, when, <laughs> when, you, when you see rain, what song do you think of? Uh, when I see rain in person, uh, when I see rain, uh, I, I hear um, uh, uh, Across the Universe. Across the Universe? Why? The Beatles. Uh, I, I, I hear Super Tramp. It's raining again. Oh, it's raining. It, it, no, it's supposed to be raining men again, isn't it? No. Oh, that's oh, not my version. <laughs> <That's, yeah. laughs> it's raining men again. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay, because, hey, men, women, whatever. <laughs> okay. I'll make it rain for everyone. You'll make it rain for everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this guy here, this guy here. Uh, all right, the the uh, the kicker for Kansas City, folks, Just it's raining like the bejesus, and he takes fucking a, a piece of grass, mm-hmm. picks up a piece of grass and throws it up in the air to see which way the wind's going to take it. Are you out of your freaking mind? <laughs> Just kick the fucking ball, man. <laughs> Oh, we need three points, like, right now. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was just, he was just joking. Yeah, he was just joking? Yeah, we'll see if he chokes. Joking. Oh, joking. <laughs> Parody, you know. <laughs> joking. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, that's all she wrote, folks. Uh, yeah, I think we're about done. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been great. It's been fun. It's been a gas. We've beaten this one to death. We're going to get out of here. We were on for an hour. We did our time. Yeah. Yeah. We did our time. We did our time. And you know what? Tune in and we'll do it more. Yeah. Yeah. If you tune in, we'll do it again. All right. So tell mm-hmm. your friends about us here at kgfrocks.com. Tell your friends about the conjugal visit. And next week, hopefully, we'll have a good guest for you guys and we'll just rock it out. Okay. All right. Well, this is a free ride saying see you later. Guido, adios, my friend. Uh, so Lego, so whatever that shit is. Lost in Lombago. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, buying Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, brother. <laughs> Good night. It's Sunday night, and this is The Conjugal Visit on kgfrocks.com.